In this video, I'll discuss the architectural standards for commercial bar design, and later, I'll review a sketch that I prepared that will help you design and build your own bar. Coming up. Hey, Rick Hughes-Bell again from Cabaret Design Group, where I share my personal ideas and tips on bar design, draft beer system design, and product reviews. Later in this video, I'll give you today's takeaway. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below. Now let's jump into the show. Architects and engineers utilize a standardized approach to everything they design. At the core of every architectural design is a plan which is developed by the creation of building blocks known as elevation views, isometric views, and section views. These are the most fundamental objects as they eventually identify the shape and size of every object. Without the section views, we would be unable to create the elevations and plan views because we wouldn't be able to develop the dimensions you see in these plans. In bar design, architectural standards require the height of the finished bar to be between 42 to 45 inches, as shown in this sketch, which can be downloaded below. A standard bar base is composed of metal studs and track, as shown as items 1 and 2 in this section, using either 4 or 6 inch framing members 16 inches on center. Most residential contractors aren't comfortable with metal studs, so if wood is used, all lumber should be fire treated. A continuous 3 inch by 3 inch by 16 gauge metal framing angle and clip should be attached to the tops of all studs on both sides, as shown in items 7 and 8, and shown separately in this sketch. One half inch CDX plywood sheathing on each side continuously shown here as item 3. 1 half inch Durarock underlayment with FRP on the inside face as shown in item 4. The exterior side of this design is finished with cement board siding components such as that offered by James Hardy Corporation, refer to items 15, 17, 18, and 21. A plastic laminate inlaid panel shown here as items 19 and 20. Wilson Art makes some very fine products as shown in this photo. A pipe footrest shown here as item 22, and a stainless steel drink rail shown here as item 11. A couple of items here worth noting. The inside edge of the finished bar top should overhang the inside face of the bar by 11 inches. This is good ergonomic design and will reduce bartender back strain. Electrical convenience outlets with USB ports shown here as item 16 should be installed every four feet. By virtue of installing a continuous angle on both sides of the bar die, as shown in this sketch, you will have superior bar support no matter the bar top material you select. Bars are designed from the inside out, which means you first need to draw a section view of the bar and back bar and check it against all interior dimensions before proceeding to order materials and bar equipment. See you next time.